Moving on to the next example, given f of x equals g of h of x, where g of x equals x to the power of 3 plus 1, h of 3 equals 2, and h of prime 3 is equal to negative 2, find f of prime 3. Now this question is a little tricky. The algebra is not going to be difficult, but if it's something you've never ran into, it's something that can catch you a little bit off guard. So we're finding the derivative of f of x at an x value of 3. So we know that f of x is equal to g of h of x, so this is a composite function. So since we know we're going to find the derivative of this at a specific x value, let's just find what the derivative of this is going to be. And because this is a composite function, the derivative of f of x is just going to be the chain rule applied. So it's going to be the derivative of that outer function times that inner function left as is times the derivative of that inner function. So now we have the general derivative of f of x, but we need the derivative at a specific x value of 3. So we're looking for f of prime 3. So let's plug in 3 for all the x values on the right side. So we'd have g prime h of 3 times h of prime 3. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere because notice how h of 3 is given as a value of 2. So we can rewrite this as g prime of 2. And then h of prime 3, that's given as a value of negative 2. And now all that's left to find is this g prime of 2. Well, notice how g of x is given as x to the power of 3 plus 1. So the derivative of it, because we have to find the derivative of g at a specific x value of 2, the derivative of g of x is just going to be 3x squared if we apply the power rule to that first expression. So then g prime of 2, which is what we're finding, we would just plug in an x value of 2 in the derivative. So 3 times 2 squared would give us 12. So g prime 2 is equal to 12, so we end up with 12 times negative 2, and that gives us negative 24. So that's what f of prime 3 is. So that there is our final answer. So the first thing we did was we found the general derivative of f of x, and because it's a composite function, we apply the chain rule. Then we had to find the derivative of f of x at a specific x value of 3, so we plugged in all the um, x values as 3. And then h of 3 is given as 2, h of prime 3 is given as negative 2, and then g prime of 2 we can do on the side with the function we're given for g of x, find the derivative, plug in 2, and then we get 12 here times negative 2, so then our final answer is negative 24. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.